Hey guys, last time we beat the fire giant in an extremely emotional moment. It was probably the hardest mandatory boss I've had to do in any video game. Because I did it fully solo. Although I do think one of the bosses in Dark Souls 3 was harder, but that was a fully optional boss. So, this is where we killed the fire giant. Now, last night, or late afternoon, I don't know when it was, but yesterday, I did run up here, which is where you go after, and what happens is you go up to that giant chalice thing and there's actually like a volcano on the inside and then there's this dramatic cutscene where Millennia sacrifices herself or something in order to get the power to burn away the thorns in front of the Erd tree so we can go inside the Erd tree and become the Elden Lord but the game is not over yet because it took us to this other area. It went from here where we are now all the way over. Wait, okay, so we're right here and it took us all the way over here to this weird isolated area. So let's travel there. We had to run past a few enemies, then we found a grace mark as a checkpoint. So let's see, this could be the end of the game. I don't know what will happen. Hopefully there's no more bosses, but we all know there's going to be another boss. Okay, let's put on our helmet so that we can do this. Let's see, we switched to our other legs because I want to have equipped, so I need the slightly lighter leggings. So I got my lion themed. Well, I'm not trying to go for a theme, but it's just the best stats. My lion themed armor. Okay, what's okay, what spell, what loadout do we want for this area? We don't want a boss loadout anymore. We want a getting through a bunch of enemies loadout. So we want to change our spells to be We got our our blessings boon, which is our spell we use during the boss to passively regain HP, but it's very slow, but it helps conserve resources. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna, I, I mean, I have to kind of guess what the enemies are gonna use, and if I keep dying, I can come back here and, you know, change the loadout, but I'm gonna go with, we get four spells here. I'm gonna go with Assassin's Approach to make our footsteps quiet for like 30 seconds. Oh, I still gotta unlock Blessing of the Erd Tree. That's a really good passive healing spell, but I need like four, like 14 more faith levels. That would take a while. But after I beat the game, I can, there's probably, I, I'm just gonna look up like everything after I beat the game, see where the best XP farm is. Actually, let's make our second spell electrify armament in case we equip our a non-elemental weapon that that can work on. Then I'll do assassin's approach and then for slot for the last slot I'll do lightning spear. Then I'll allocate my flasks. So for the boss I had all 13 in health, 0 in FP, but I'm going to go 10 in health, 3 in FP. 
that's better for getting through a bunch like a a route so to speak okay let's do this we just spent all our runes on a level up so we are risking nothing right now so it doesn't really matter if we die okay we came from this way Okay, there's a bunch of floating rocks and a tornado. I don't even know, like, what this area is supposed to be or represent. That's a good item. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna run past you. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. We're just gonna... Oh, I can't use the horse here. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to run past you because I don't think I have to fight you. Alright, alright. Probably get a lot of runes if we kill it. I wonder if I can cheese it. Yeah, I can probably cheese it if I, like, camp right here, but... I'm just gonna fight what I have to right now. Okay, we got another checkpoint here. That's good. Yeah, sometimes you gotta know when to just run past stuff. Dude, if there's no more bosses, I'll be psyched. The game can give me as many optional bosses as it wants to. The more the merrier, but I want to beat the game. You know? Oh, shoot. Okay, two enemies. I wasn't expecting two. Let's use Golden Slam on these suckers. Okay, we had to do a couple roll dodges there. Golden slam you. I've never seen these enemy this type of enemy before. Gotta switch to my sword for a one-on-one. -on -one. Got a critical guard counter there. That's why I switched to my lighter plate legs so that I could have two weapons in my quick select without without overdoing my weight load. You know what? Let's let's burn a rune arc to get more health. It'll only work until we die, but I don't want to go my whole game just never using my consumables. I have 18 of them. There we go. That put our HP all the way up to 1550, wow. You know, that last boss we killed had has over 44,000 HP. Okay. Bunch of enemies. What is this red lightning? I don't I don't know what category that falls under. Do I need lightning defense for that? Okay, I don't think I have to fight those guys. There's probably just a bunch of treasure. Oh, that's good money right there. Oh shoot. Whoops, I thought I had my uh, shield equipped, but I didn't. A golden slam right here. Okay, we got a little poise breakage action there. Let me switch to a sword for some... Oh, you're doing the lightning. Whoa, that just killed me? Wow. That's crazy. Okay, well, we weren't really risking 
anything, so no problem. We are, we already got the item that's around the corner, so and you, so um, we don't have to get ourselves cornered. And now we know that that red lightning stuff is really potent. Let me switch out my trinkets because I still have it set for that boss. Okay, I'm gonna just put all the resistance as one. So I'm gonna, this one boosts my lightning resistance. This one boosts my magic resistance. gonna see what happens if I run past a bunch of enemies here. That guy has a big shield. Coming through. Running past enemies is a skill. It does require skill to... Oh, that's where I died. Okay. Let's set up a, our passive slow healing spell while we're here and then get past them. Oh, we don't want to get cornered here. Whoa, we got an ancient dragon prayer book. I can take that to the turtle guy. Oh, checkpoint. Let's just awkwardly touch the checkpoint where they're trying to heal because we knocked them back. <laughs> okay, but we literally don't care because we touched the checkpoint. So that's progress. You probably get really good XP if you stop and fight them. And if you stop to fight the enemies, you know. There's probably a bunch of secrets in an in an area like that that you could um you you could take all the time you want to look around okay we got to the checkpoint that resets the enemies back to their normal position so now i am undetected ooh okay that's interesting that they gave us that bell bearing Does that mean we're supposed to have more? By this point in the game, I'm supposed to have found more weapon bolstering resources. Not that it would have made a big difference against that boss, but it would have been nice because I could have more than a few weapons fully upgraded. Oh yeah, look at that motion blur. Uh, what are we doing? Okay, we gotta jump down here. Dude, I love the platforming in this game. It's so satisfying. So much better than Dark Souls, because, you know, obviously, in Dark Souls, you don't have much of a jump. Oh! Oh, you can't fit through there. Okay. Can I push you off the edge? Oh, it's one of those guys. Okay. Okay, that enemy right there. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back to the checkpoint because that is an undead enemy, which indicates there could be more of them. Those enemies 
can sometimes be very hard to kill because once you knock them down, unless you deal like a lot of damage to them, they come back to life. They reanimate. But the best defense is this spell called... Uh, what is it called? Order's Blade. And I'm gonna switch from... Can I equip three weapons? No. Makes it too heavy. Okay. I could if they were lighter or... Um, I'm gonna switch from my sword to my axe. I need a non-elemental weapon so that I can enchant it with the anti-undead spell. Because if there's more enemies like that guy, we're gonna want that. step that I have on my axe. Oh, see ya. Try to be careful when fighting on an edge. Okay, as soon as... Oh, that guy didn't even see me. He's like... It's dumb, I guess. Got it. Kill him while he's down. Okay, there's a bunch of enemies. I'm gonna put on Order's Blade. Now if I kill them, they'll stay dead. They won't like me. See, now he just like disintegrates instead of trying to reanimate. Much easier. Plus it does more damage, it adds holy damage. So these guys aren't that hard. Okay, any items around here? Ooh, a bit of a risky item here. some messages over here okay I can I can explore this later I just really want to see I'm dying to see what's at the end of this area and after I beat the game my rule for games are like I can look stuff up if I get super stuck but as soon as I unless I get super st stuck or in a big pickle I don't look stuff up until I beat a game. When, once I beat the main story, I'm allowed to look up whatever I want. Okay, let me refresh my... Are there any enemies around here? Yeah, there's someone over there. Let me refresh my Order's Blade here. Oh, this guy's a heavy... He's like a halberd. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Oh, shit. Get 
get out of town. Okay, I can't use my healing spells or someone harassing me with arrows. So I gotta use up my flasks. Oh, checkpoint. Now let's let's burn another rune arc cuz I have 17 of them left and I'm almost at the end of the game. And after I beat the game, I'm probably going to discover some method to farm them or something, so might as well just burn through them now. Time that roll there. We are making progress. Let's see. There's probably only one more boss. Or maybe this is just kind of ah oh, man. Nervous about what the boss is going to be like. But I doubt it's going to be harder than the fire giant. I mean, the fire giant was obviously designed for team play, so. Okay. Let's go and prepare this time. fun to have a hard enemy right next to a checkpoint so you can just kind of like prepare all you want. Oh yeah, well. Ooh, okay, that was close. Oh, we got some new leg wear. Oh, we're already okay. Hey, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna burn through another rune arc. Okay, uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was gonna check to see what the stats are on that leg wear. It has the exact same weight as my current ones, exact same poise. Huh. It's actually It's about the same, but it's better against slash weapons, but it would also look kind of stupid with, with this outfit, so I'm going to keep my current ones on. It's a good thing to do while waiting for my HP to go back up is to check stats. Use strong attacks to break the poise. Whoa. Right, same similar deal. The storm. What? Ah, that's what happens when you're slow I can get around you.
Okay. Use one of my FP flasks. What? Okay. I'm gonna use my assassin's approach. This will make it so nothing can hear me for about 30 seconds. Well, that guy can see me though, so it kind of defeated the purpose. And I guess he doesn't care unless I go closer. Okay. It's weird just having no idea, like, what you're doing or, or like, where you are. Like, I don't know what this place is supposed to be. Oh, okay, that guy looks tough. Usually I like to just unlock all the checkpoints before trying to kill stuff. Why is there a NPC summon sign right here? Is this, is it a boss as soon as you go walk in here? Oh, there's a fog gate right there. Oh, there's a boss right here. That was unexpected. Godskin duo. Two bosses at once. Okay. What's the game plan here? You guys courteous enough to take turns attacking me? Wait, that didn't do much damage. What the heck? Does the other one receive more damage? Let's test. Not really. <laughs> hmm. That's unusual because usually bosses that are like two on one, usually they have very little health. That might be the... That doesn't seem like a final boss, though. This boss might not be mandatory. Hmm. Okay, let's see if there's anywhere else to go. We're kind of spiraling into the middle here. Let's see if there's any other options, because I just have a feeling like that if that was a mandatory boss, it just wouldn't quite fit, you know, it wouldn't quite fit with the flow that they're setting up. So that's the boss room. That guy didn't hear us because of our assassin spell. Okay, so can we just like not go in there and just go over here instead? Obviously, I'm going to come back and do like all the bosses eventually after I like get to the max level or whatever. Oh, we almost fell off the edge there. 
I think we just went around the boss room. But we might have to do it, because this might be a dead end. Oh, where did I just land? Or is this like... So there seems to be multiple entrances to the boss room. Okay, this is just where we were before. Wait a second. The cutscene that I saw after I beat the fire giant. Might have implied that we already have the ability to access the earth tree and beat the game. So wait a second, maybe it just put us here as kind of like a post-game area and we don't actually have to do this? Let's see, what happens if we go to the end of the game where we couldn't get in the Erd Tree before? What happens? Let's go to the Elden Throne, which we previously couldn't access. Could I have just gone right to the end of the game after being the Fire Giant? Let's find out what happens. Cause that like two on one boss with a ton of health, that's like that would be a weird final boss. Like final bosses of FromSoft games are never like gang bosses. Gang bosses are usually optional. Okay. That's who I thought was the final boss before that we killed. Mar Morgot or whatever his name is. Okay, can we get in here now? Can we go into the Erd Tree? Oh man, it doesn't let us. Okay, let's just bef Let's go back to the round table and talk to the smart guy and see if we're supposed to go somewhere else. Oh, what are you doing here? Take a look around. Oh, everything got burned? burned. Raised to the ground. Don't worry. I don't blame you. I'll continue spirit tuning just the same as before, which is why I need your help persuading Master Hugh to leave. His roots are so knotted in this place. He won't last much longer if he stays here. His shackles are broken. He's a free man now. It's high time he put the round table Oh down. yeah, I remember that. The smithing guy who upgrades your weapons is actually kind of like a slave here, but he doesn't like, he doesn't mind that much. He's like, yeah, I'm okay with that. What use do you have for me now? I am a finger reader. 
I will remain here until their dialogue ends. And You're gonna sit here for another thousand years? Do as you please. Take whatever course seems most worthy to you. Now you may go. <laughs> you would force this tired old ah, harder. Oh cool, I can like buy that flame pillar spell that the fire giant was using against me. Now, do what you believe. Okay, so I wasn't expecting the round table to be just like burned. Let's like talk to everybody and see if there's some somewhere we're supposed to go. You burned the earth tree, didn't you? Then the round table is soon to follow. Ah, no need to fret about that. The round table holds served to put a tarnished upon the throne of Elden Lord. And if the earth tree needed to burn for that to happen, then the round table must go as well. Yeah, everyone's chill about I'll it. I'll stay at the round table for a time. I must learn all that can be taken from this place and seal it into my memory. How could I call myself the all-knowing if I did any less? The pursuit of knowledge is without end. For knowledge is never a thing complete. Thus, I maintain the mantle of all-knowing. Perhaps the same could be said of guidance. Who is to say whether we'll remain who we are once the fight is finished? What do you think? As one who aspires to become Elden Lord, Still working. I knew you'd be back. Lay out your arms. Weren't you listening? As I've always said, you came to challenge the demigods and their god to slay them. And as long as you do, I will always smith your weapons. It is what I wish. To smith a weapon for you to slay a god. Wait, I don't think we could go in here before. Oh, wow, he's dead. Holy cow. He got killed. He has like roots coming out of him like he got killed by one of those tree spirit things. How good is that armor? It's not as good as what I have now, but it's like lighter weight. So if I ever switch to a heavier weapon or 
want to have more weapons on hand at once or something. It could be better. So you can still like use the essential facilities, but everything's like burned up. No, no. How could I say? Father has all and now. No. Really? She doesn't have any dialogue. No. Okay. What happens if we talk to the evil guy? That's where I'm supposed to go. I don't think so. I'd probably just have to kill that boss. Unlocks sewer door. Oh! Wow. Okay. That's like the area that I thought was the final area. Hmm. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do is... This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna end the video soon. And I'm going to... I'm gonna look... I'm not gonna, like, look up what to do. I'm just gonna look up... Is that boss... That two-on-one boss, is that a mandatory boss or not? Because I just want to make a beeline for the end of the game right now. Get beating the game done. Then. Because I don't want to waste like. and Well not waste but. I don't want to spend like. You know. Three hours. Killing that boss. If it's not even mandatory. And. I will come back and kill it at some point. Right now, I just want to beat the game, so... I am going to... look up... 
just is that boss mandatory that's it oh this guy's dead too whoa he left a letter He left a clue as to another place we can go. I'm just gonna check real quick to make sure we can't uh, beat the game yet, because maybe we just had to like come here and see the state that the round table is in before it lets us beat the game. And yeah, so I'm, I'm just gonna end the video here, and while, while I'm waiting for it to upload, I'm going to just see if that boss is mandatory, and if it is mandatory, then my next video will be me hopefully beating the boss, and then seeing what's after that. Okay, so thanks for watching.